What's up my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 modder friends out there? This is Foxhound ROM version 1.2. Now, I want you guys to keep something in mind. Uh, this is designed or developed for the international Galaxy Note 3, the N9005, but if you have a Canadian variant or say for instance a T-Mobile variant, I've got a kernel for you guys to flash so that you can um, you know, gain access back to your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, as well as the camera. It's a very important kernel to flash. Uh, that said, let's go ahead and jump around the ROM here and show you guys why it's so cool. Now, Foxhound ROM has been around, uh, Foxhound ROM, I should say, has been around um, since, uh, well, for a while, as far back as I can remember, the Galaxy S3 days. And then, of course, it came to um, the Samsung Galaxy S4, and now it's here with the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3, uh, which is awesome. So, as you can see here, we've got a bit of a themed um, or a blacked out, more or less, um, settings menu here. But, oh, look at that. We've got a little Foxhound extra. And we'll jump into that in just a moment here. Um, but the ROM itself is actually themed. You'll notice up at the top here, we've kind of got this um, Kit Kat like um, status bar colors, just basic black and white. And it even has, and you may be able to see, I'll bring it up a little bit closer to the camera. Um, you might be able to actually see the battery percentage hidden underneath the um, already filled up battery icon there. Um, <laughs> now, I don't know if that's because they pulled the files from 4.4 KitKat um, and put them in here. And if any of you guys have been following the news and bugs and things like that that, are, that uh, do exist in 4.4 KitKat, one of them is Google did in fact implement a battery percentage, but because the developers were, I don't know what the hell they were on that day, um, they actually ended up hiding it underneath the um, the actual battery um, thing there. I don't even know what that, the battery icon so I um, mean you have to enable but anyways long story short the battery percentage is hidden underneath the battery icon and once I drain it more I'll probably be able to see the numbers but at the moment um, it's hidden so that's something definitely they're gonna have to work on this is still sort of like the early stages of the ROM um, other things that are themed uh, for instance the phone dialer is themed again this is uh, this particular ROM is actually via a aroma installer so um, there's a lot of different things that you can pick like a stock messaging app or the Samsung messaging app the calendar stock camera you can even add Add the um, AOSP camera complete with Photosphere if you wanted to, but I chose to opt out of that because I'm not a huge fan of the um, AOSP uh, camera. Uh, nevertheless, um, what else is themed? Oh, also the Play Store is themed, as you can see here. So we've got this cool little sort of dark um, blue and black theme going on. Um, before I flashed the kernel to make everything work, um, Google Hangouts was actually themed um, sort of like this dark black, really cool black color as well, but it seems to have disappeared. So not really sure what happened there. Um, we also have cool things like the pen window. So you can have multiple, uh, basically as many windows as you want with any applications you want um, with the little um, S Pen window thing that you guys are probably aware of. Uh, we also have Add Away, which is awesome. So I mean, you know, if we're all sick and tired of advertisements or too many advertisements, so go ahead and that works flawlessly. Uh, we also have this thing called F Android. Um, it's basically this thing that allows you to download these applications. I didn't find any of these applications of any interest to me, so I just I haven't really dicked around with that too much. Um, and of course, we have FH settings, which I was showing you just before. And we do have an over-the-air update, though. When I try to update from Android, uh, Android. Uh, when I try to update from Foxhound version 1.1 to 1.2, even though it gave me a notification in the status bar saying, "Hey, man, you know you've got an update waiting for you. Do you want to update now?" And I said yes. It would download a 31 megabyte file so I don't know if it's just doing patch updates or if that was some sort of um, a bug where it was supposed to download something more but it said you know um, you can down that it looked like it was downloading an APK to be honest with you so I don't really know what was going on there and when I looked in my root directory I couldn't find the file anywhere not in the uh, Foxhound update folder or anything like that so uh, I ended up just downloading it manually and installing so just be aware of that if you guys are looking forward to over the air updates it just didn't work for me that said it it might work for you guys um, what else can I tell you about? Uh, I'm pretty sure there was something else. Oh, yes, right. Uh, we also have this um, multi-window support, right? But not just the usual, you know, crappy <laughs> Samsung multi-window support. This one actually, click on edit and um, any user downloaded applications, anything you want, you can uh, you can add to your uh, multi-window support. I never use multi-window support, but I know some people do like it. So um, obviously it's really nice to have that there for those that, uh, that do actually enjoy um, using the multi-window support camera does work in fact so um, just to kind of 
show you guys. We can see, you can take a picture here and do that. And then of course we can always record video. As you can see, it's recording at the moment and we can pause it and continue recording and take pictures. Um, those are features that I never use, but you know, I know some it's important to some people. So I figured I'd point that out. Um, don't ask about battery life yet because since the flashing this new kernel, I, I don't have any experience with battery life. But again, it really all depends on, you know, your usage as a user. How much do you have your, um, um, you know, what kind of settings do you have your kernel set up for and uh, things like that. Do you have data and Wi-Fi on all the time, etc. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into the meat and the magic of this particular, oh, and by the way, of course, you can see that the uh, pull down, the quick toggles there are all themed um, black, blue, and white as well, which is pretty cool. So uh, anyways, let's go ahead and jump into Foxhound extras here. And this is where you're going to be making a lot of the magic happen. So of course, of course you have UI mods. Uh, you've got a difference between C, uh, C lock or clock, if you will. Thanks, Cyanogen Mod, for buggering up the name of clock always confuses me <laughs> anyways uh, general mods um, and yes for those of you that think I'm an idiot I do know why they changed the name how you, you think I was born yesterday anyways <laughs> flash blink control so you can change this um, so what's really interesting about this one is that um, when you do receive a phone call, um, I, I don't know if it's set by default anymore in the new version, but uh, in the previous version, uh, in version 1.1, 1, 1 .1, um, when you received a phone call, not only would, you know, obviously the phone light up and let you know that you're receiving an incoming call, but uh, the LED light on the back would start flashing rapidly, which some people might really dislike, um, but I actually really liked it because quite honestly, half the time I'm not even paying attention to my phone. It's always in the corner of my peripheral vision. Uh, so having something going all crazy like that definitely uh, captures my attention. Um, so we've got app mods here, uh, lots of different cool settings in here, um, advanced mods so we can start getting into the fr um, uh, exposed framework and all the different modifications you can do with that cool stuff. Uh, some different system uh, things here, so kernel controls depending on the type of kernel you have, grant root access, it's going to install this stuff, a trickster mod is where you'll be making most of those modifications. Back out please, please, okay we'll have to give it a moment, there we go. Um, so you can do all that performance settings and the idle Wi-Fi time manager, something that seems to be important for some people out there, although not so much for myself. Uh, you've got toolbox here, so script installer. If you guys have any scripts that you want to manage and install, that's what that's for. Um, and of course, we've got the Foxhound over the air, which seems a little bit repetitive considering we already have a dedicated application to um, the Foxhound over the airs, which for me at the moment just doesn't work at all. Um, and of course, we do have a reboot button as well, which I want to show you the boot animation, which is really, really cool. So give it just a moment. This is sort of the end of the boot animation um, and we'll give it a moment and so there it is here is the Foxhound boot animation uh, it's a newer one and again in during the aroma installation process you can actually select um, the stock um, Samsung boot animation or the old uh, Foxhound boot animation or the new um, Diamond Dogs or whatever the hell they're calling it. For, what a strange name for a ROM, but nevertheless. Um, anyways, this is Foxhound version 1.2. It's stable. It's extremely fast. Lots of rad customizations. He didn't overdo it. Um, everything that I would want in a stock custom firmware ROM um, is here and it's awesome. There's a couple of things that I could do without such as F-Droid and a couple of other different things, but um, for the most part, uh, I I'm really, really impressed with this. Oh, by the way, uh, a custom YouTube um, application as well, which is themed. Just before we take off here, uh, that was really important. So you guys are going to need, those of you with a Canadian or T-Mobile variant um, Galaxy Note 3, you are going to need compulsion kernel. I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning of the video, but um, you're going to need this. So I will be posting a link in the description below to both the ROM as well as the kernel thread. And there's two different kernels. You can download the standard kernel, which is stock clocked right now, which is what I'm using, or their ultimate version, uh, which you can actually overclock to 2. 0.65 gigahertz if any of you guys are interested in that um, but again both links will be in the descriptions below for you guys to download at your convenience uh, but that's it thanks again for watching click the likes button if you're new to the channel subscribe for more videos and we'll see you in the next one guys cheers